Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talk It Out Loud with Miss Talkative. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, I don't know why people keep asking me, what do I think about Melody copying Stormy, especially when they know that I'm a Melody supporter. I'm not sure why people are feeling Stormy head with the noise of Melody copying her just because Melody decided to market and sell her products on TikTok. I didn't know that once Stormy signed up for the platform, it became off limits to other businesses or is that, or is it just meant to be off limits to Melody? Melody adding new flavors, new scents and travel size to her inventory that has nothing to do with story. It has nothing to do with Stormy. It has everything to do with Melody as a business owner. It's called supply and demand. It's not called ask Stormy or what or worry about what Stormy has to say. But how many body glaze business owners did Stormy reach out to? How many business how, how many businesses did Stormy contact before Clear Man Kyle? Got her in good over there on tick on TikTok because Stormy definitely was wasn't the first to get started over there selling her selling body glazes. So did Stormy reach out and ask for permission, or did she worry about um, her competitors? So I don't understand the outrage for Melody now marketing and selling it on TikTok. Just because Stormy had some success over on TikTok doesn't mean that people need to atta start attacking Melody for using the same platform to market and advertise her businesses. Melody customers has been asking for travel size for some time now. And just because it's just uh, starting to happen, it doesn't mean that it wasn't always part of the plan at some point. And travel size and new scents, new flavors to a popular selling product. It's not a new business venture. It's not a new business move. It's been out for centuries. Stormy did not invent that. But if we want to talk platforms, aren't Stormy and her mama on Melody platform? The platform that Melody created? Yeah, let, I mean, so we we talking about platforms. Love and Mary Tunfield was created by Melody and Stormy, who do not like Melody, did not like Melody before getting on a platform. She sure did. Uh, she sure did snick her way onto Melody platform, using her um to uh get her, to get access so she can use. Melody's platform for her to feature her family, uh, her family reunions, spotlighting her businesses and announcing her surrogacy. surrogacy. So who's, so how can y'all get outraged about Melody being on TikTok, but not have an outrage for Stormy being on Love and Mary Chesville, which is a platform that Melody actually created herself that Stormy has um, snaked her way on to. So Stormy and her people, they need to come up off of Melody for being on TikTok, a platform that Stormy don't own no rights to. She She's not a, a heavy hitter like she thinks she is on TikTok. Stormy is utilizing the TikTok platform in the same manner as Melody. That's why Stormy was over there apologizing to that content creator slash customer. And notice I said content creator first because had that just been a regular customer of Stormy's, Stormy wouldn't have gave two cents about her getting rude with the customer and blocking her. But because Stormy realized 
that this was an actual content creator, somebody else that will blast her, that did blast her. That's why she was over there begging and pleading, sending all those products and a Gucci purse, begging her to take down that post so other people don't get wind of how she talked to her customers. And before TikTok find out that she be lying about why, in my opinion, why she, before TikTok find out that she be lying about why her customer's products are delayed. So people need not worry about what platform Melody and her team choose to sell and advertise her products on, especially if they're not about to make a purchase. But my issue is, why is there a double standard? Anytime someone is speaking on Stormy uh, or her business, just stating, you know, just simply stating facts, not assumptions about her, you know, how negative her attitude is towards her customers, her customer service is bad, and her delayed or omitted delivery of products. People start talking about, oh, y'all tearing down a black, uh, black owned business, y'all tearing down a black owned woman business. Well, the same can be said about Melody. Where is the outrage for Melody and 7th Avenue Beauty? Because isn't 7th, 7th Avenue Beauty a double minority owned uh, business as well? I mean, it is black owned, correct? And it's owned by a black woman. So that's a double minority as well. Melody is in the same boat as, as Stormy, but even worse because Melody has four kids. So why don't Melody get the same courtesy as Stormy? Just because Melody may not show it and she may not speak about it don't mean things don't get to her. She's a single mother of four with probably no monetary help from their dad. So why don't Melody get the same outrage? Why, why isn't people, um, you know, windmilling for Melody to uh, stop people from tearing down her black owned business? But like I stated, people accuse of Melody of mimicking Stor Stormy on TikTok and increasing, you know, her inventory by adding new scents. They need to pay attention to the TikTok receipts because Melody popularity is growing and Melody rating on TikTok is at a 98%. And once her audience expands, I'm sure her business will expand as well, especially with the rules uh, and especially with the rules of TSA only allowing people to, you know, travel with certain sizes and because we all heard Queen Sheba get on Melody's TikTok live and explain how one of her products got tossed because it wasn't the correct size. Nobody wants to uh, keep continue to take that chance and traveling with their products only for them to be tossed out. And or um, or people don't want to be traveling without their products and have to um, ask somebody else, can I use your, do you have lotion? Do you have this? Do you have that? Or have to go to the store and buy just some anything to use. So I don't think the travel size or the new sense, the uh, added, being added to Melody's inventory is a uh, I don't think it's going to go it, go away anytime soon. I, I don't think it's going to go away at all. I think that that is a, a new beginning. And I think it was always part of the plan at some point. So um, I highly doubt that Stormy or her paid reviewers can stop Melody or the 7th Avenue Beauty team from advertising or selling on TikTok or any other platform they choose. So that all of that frustration, all that anger, whatever, they they need to, uh, they maybe uh, need to take a step back. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.